What's next? So, so I, I, we we know you tease us with this freestyle, man. Uh, man. So come on, when the project dropping? I, I know you got some stuff over there on the shelf. You just sitting and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot, man. I go got a lot in the chamber, man. No, um, so the album is pretty much done as far as like recording music, new music for it, or adding songs to it. Um, I probably I, I got close to a hundred songs that I recorded in the past three years for this particular album. Wow. And that was when, yeah, so in 2000, I, I, Dayton and I met and started building in 2016. In 2019, late 2019, he, he stepped to me. He's like, yo, let me help you. Let me work with you. You know, I was like, what you want to do? He said, well, let me executive produce. Let me help you with your beats. Let me, I said, you got it. Let's go. And then throughout 2020, it turned into um, me being, him asking me to be a part of Menace Movement when he started Menace. And and then later in 2022, later in 2020, after the Andy video thing and the Check Nine thing, he's like, yo, we can go ahead and we're going to do something different, G O N and Menace, because, you know, I really wanted to be with, with G O N, but I was just happy to be working with Dave, you know. And so I started in 2019 recording songs. He was just sending me beats and I sent him right back to him. And, and I just wanted to show him how bad I wanted this. It ended up being almost 100 songs two years <laughs> later. I was wow. later. So we've narrowed it down to we're at about 25. Song we were at about eighteen songs, but now it's back up to about twenty five songs. And we're going to narrow it down to about between fifteen and sixteen songs. Um, and but you know, aside from so, there's other projects being mixed and mastered. They're almost done, and their mind is kind of next up in line to get mixed and mastered. And then, and it was still there's six features that we're working on that they're you know still trying to put together, but. Uh, one real big one that I'm I'm really praying for, man. I, I mean, I can let the cat out of the bag with that one. If I can get Tech Nine on the song, oh my goodness! I, I understand he, he's not a Christian rapper, but the point to that is, <laughs> right? I appreciate that, but you know, he we kind of forged a relationship online. That is in 2020, and he just, I mean, he he opened in the comics. You know, it was like, you know, hey, I would like to do a song with you. I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course. Let me think about it. What? You know what I'm saying? So I, I sent them some music. We talked, you know, we've even done talk, and I'm, I'm really trusting God that, that, that it'll happen. And the reason why is I'm going to take my fan for a very long time, but mostly because it can open so many different doors yeah. for, for all parties involved. Right. And obviously it wouldn't, it wouldn't help him out in nowhere near as much as it would help me. And it's not for it to be selfish, but I can see. From knowing his music for over 20 years, I see him kind of walking that line of faith. And as his music has progressed from being, you know, kind of sinister, at, at times a little demonic, to not, nowhere near as much, but more kind of questioning his state and kind of want, being open to faith and being open to the idea of, you know, is there more than just the life that he's used to? And... I, I would love to kind of be a catalyst to like, just kind of just push him right over that line. Like, bang, you know, here, try it. And, you know, chasing the sheep is actually pretty good. It's actually better than anything else. Come on now. And it just, you know, I just, I feel like it would be a dope thing for CHH because I, I don't want to just come in the CHH and just be an, uh, just be a blip that just came and went. I want to, I want to push the needle. Like I, I want to make CHH bigger than what it is. I want to, I, I come from a different stage, you know, with the whole wrestling thing. So I got, I, it's not, none of it is new to me. I want to come in and take CHH and put it in, in the forefront, you know, and have the wrestling world see me like, well, they, they got stickers over there like that. Like, and like, wait a minute, it's real like that. Like that's, that's what I want to do. And so what I'm doing is I'm dropping freestyles. I did three mixtapes. And so I figured, you know what, let me just go one freestyle at a time. Now. And I started with the camera freestyle. I got three, four in the chamber there. I, you know, the Canon first style was just an introduction. I got three more in the chat that we're shooting little videos for. They'll be coming over the next couple of weeks to kind of keep building anticipation um, for the album. Because um, remember when oh, 50, 50 dropped in like 2003, the buzz that was around him? Yes. You know and same with GZ, GZ around 2005, like the buzz that was around him. I, I want to create that. Like, you know, I think like in terms of business and... Mm -hmm. I want to create that buzz and, and just something new and different in CHH, you know, and that's what we're working on. Listen, we, we talk all the time about bridging the gap on this show. And listen, mm -hmm. what you're talking about doing with Tech Nine, 
and you creating that buzz. If you got Tech Nine in your comments, stop yeah. playing. You doing just what God told you to do. Stop playing. I'm doing my best, bro. I'm doing my best. Listen, listen, we definitely we praying for you for this feature. We definitely we want to see this collaboration happen. I think uh, D1 when D1 did the collaboration mm. with Lupe Fiasco, he said something yeah. similar to what you're talking about. How uh, he made sure when he, you know he's working with Lupe that he came into his realm. He's like, all right, you know, I know Lupe, you do this. But if you're coming on this track, I yeah. definitely need you to keep it somewhat positive and stay in this vein. So I, I listen, we're gonna salute you and get your roses. And then we counted it already is done. It, it's yeah. all it, it's already it's is done. Come on, it's man. one of the Where numbers on FM stations right now. Hey, listen, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Well listen, listen, hey. I'm a fan of Dayton. And, yes. and please, Every, please, please, please. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I will, yeah. Can you tell us one thing maybe the fans don't know and out here? What good thing? You know, or something that you experienced or learned that you maybe didn't even know about Dayton that, you know. Oh, man, man. You'd be surprised how much work Dayton does behind the scenes in Christian hip hop. There, there's a lot of people who have been put on because Dayton helped put them in position and, you know, facilitated that position for them. Like he is really becoming a, 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 a glue in CHH behind the scenes. Like he's very well respected by everyone in Christian rap. Like it doesn't matter how big the name is, when they see Dayton, they 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 immediately run up and they they show him love. Like Dayton behind the scenes, and he's he's meticulously organized. Like I, and I love that he's very organized, and he just he really has a passion for uh, for helping people. He's first and foremost, he's really got a passion for the gospel. Like he's got a passion for Christ. Dayton's a preacher. He's just a street preacher from New Jersey. Yeah. One of the best rappers in the world. But like, you know, you, you, you like, you feel like you're talking to a brother from, from New Jersey and a preacher a little bit at the same time. He's so cool and laid back. You never feel like you're being judged. You never feel like he's never coming off condescending. Like he's always, you know, he'll, he'll give it to you real, you know, but you, you're still talking to, you know, to a brother from New York, New Jersey in the Thames, like, you, you know, but, um, yeah, I love that dude, man. He's just, he just, he's got such a good heart and he's so humble. And my favorite part about that is that he's so humble, like for being what and who he is, you know, it's, it's yeah, he, he's so humble. And it, and it just, it encourages me to want to be as easy to work with for him as possible, you know, and, and that's one of the things I learned in, in pro wrestling too. Even if it's something, you know, that you may not like a review with, be easy to work with. And then you'll be able to find yourself in positions where you have more control or say so, you know, I'm not saying be a doormat, but just be easy to work with, you know, but he, he makes you want to work hard for him, you know, and that's, that's one of the things that I really enjoy about him the most. Man, that's a huge compliment. Oh, My man. goodness. But I think he, he comes across that way. I didn't know all that, but just, yeah. you know, on screen, it's kind of like, you get that idea, you get that feel. Oh, he's tough. He's real tough. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's, he's, tough. he's from New Jersey. He's tough. But like, but he's, like real, he's, he, that's all, everything you see about it's real. I just, mm-hmm. just behind that, he's also, he's like very, um, he just really wants to help people. It's so crazy, man. He just really wants to help people. And he does like a lot of people who are in some positions because of some work they can put in for him. Like it, it's, it's real dope. Awesome. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, focus. We kidnapping monster right now. What are we going to do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got to kidnap, bro. Can we just stay all day asking questions or no? No. <laughs> I oh, you wish, can't hear. I wish. You lost it. Oh, you can't hear us? Oh, no. Oh, good. I can ask what I want to ask. <laughs> oh, monster. Oh, stop, stop. Um, you got to. Okay. Okay. I okay. Hear nothing. There you go. Okay. Oh, I, hey, I was about to do the takeover, bro. Hey. <laughs> okay. You back. Can you hear now? Yeah, I hear, I hear now. I don't know what happened. I didn't okay, hear nothing cool. for a second. Yeah, that's cool. We appreciate you rocking with us today, Monster Tarva. Can you tell the sure. people how to connect with you, how they can follow you on all your social media platforms? Easy. Yes, sir. Much appreciated. You can find me at all social media platforms at Monster Tarva. Uh, Instagram, I have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. I don't do TikTok dances. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> um, my link tree is in the bio of all three apps where you can find all of my music on Spotify and all of my mixtapes on Bandcamp, um, as well as my YouTube channel. And yeah, 
yeah, we looking forward to looking looking for the next uh, next priest that will be coming very 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 soon. And it's dangerous. It's dangerous. All right. Well, listen, we're gonna have our ears open and our eyes open, and we're gonna be waiting for that freestyle. Definitely want to say thank you for coming on the show, taking the time. We will be praying for you and with you as you're moving forward in all of your careers and and just in everything God has for you. And we, I, I'm just, I'm a fan, so I'm throwing that out there too. So if you ever see me on the streets and I just run up, I'm like, it's so, it's just me, it's just me looking for, oh, you know, a little uh, high. Okay, all right, okay, bro. So good, so good. All right, thank you. I appreciate y'all. Listen, um, y'all are tuned into the fix, and the fix is in.